Hello, I've noticed recently on various boards and uh, various wedding groups that there have been quite a few questions on how much the wedding budget should be spent on the wedding venue. I've also noticed that a lot of people say that you should allocate uh, quite a lot of your wedding budget to the wedding venue. But if you're looking to save, then because the wedding venue is where you spend the most money, then it could also be where you can save the most. So in this video, I will be talking to you about ways to save on your wedding venue. And when I say wedding venue, what I specifically mean is the venue where you have your reception or your party. Now, this is actually the third video I have on a series on your wedding budget and um, where to save and where to splurge. So I will link the two other videos for you down below so that you can have a look at that later on. But in the meantime, if you do have uh, some ideas on other topics that I can make a video on, then do please comment down below as I'd love to be able to make that video for you. Hello everyone, if you are new here, my name is Jenny and I am a wedding photographer and a family portrait photographer based in Winchester in Hampshire in the UK. On this channel, I make videos on wedding planning tips, which is what this video is about, but I also do camera gear reviews and I occasionally post some wedding sample video slideshows. Do please subscribe and click the notification bell if that's the kind of content you're interested in. Okay, so here are my suggestions. So my first one is to look at dry hire wedding venues. Dry hire wedding venues are essentially blank canvas spaces. So you need to bring everything in yourself from furniture, caterers, staff, decorations. I think these types of venues could work really well and could end up being cheaper if you have a large support network who can actually help you make various things, maybe the decorations and actually help you set up on the day or the day before and help you take everything down at the end of the day. So this could well be a cheaper alternative if you're organized and can do things yourself and your family and friends are also willing to help. If not, then it could potentially end up being the same or maybe even more expensive than venues where everything's included. So please definitely do your research, but it is worth considering. If you are looking to get married in Hampshire and the surrounding areas, I do have a blog post dedicated specifically for dry hire wedding venues um, or venues with blank canvas spaces. So have a look down below in the description box. My second suggestion is starting from scratch completely and looking at maybe fields or farms. I've shot at uh, trout fisheries before, you know, places where they don't usually host weddings. Now, if you find somewhere like that, then see if you can find the owner and see if they would be willing to hire out a field for you. So if you were hiring out just the field, then you do have to think about everything, including obviously the structure that would house your guests, as well as the electrics, uh, water, that kind of thing. Do take a look at the Outside Bride YouTube channel because they have a playlist in there uh, called Ask an Expert and in there you'll find lots of helpful videos about the things that you need to think about if you are considering having a wedding um, outside on a field. Things like how to deal with the generator power, with toilets, with the bins and also wet weather planning. I will link their channel and the playlist down below. My third suggestion, I've actually already mentioned this in a previous video, um, the video where I talk about how you can slash your wedding budget right down. In there I talk about having your party, your celebration back in your own home, have a house party or um, have a party in the back garden. But what you can also do is maybe look at um, Airbnb or uh, look at hiring a holiday home for maybe a long weekend. But again, this maybe applies to smaller wedding parties. And also you do need to check the terms and conditions of a property that you are hiring um, to see if your party is going to be allowed. Right, my fourth suggestion is to look at places like village halls or community rooms or church rooms, that kind of thing. 
These are often cheaper than dedicated wedding spaces because they are for the community. But again, it will be up to you to decorate and to bring everything in yourself. Also, they could possibly be a little bit more difficult to find. Um, so you'll have to rely on maybe local knowledge because these spaces are often run by volunteers. Maybe their website won't necessarily be up to date. So do ask your friends and family members to find out if they know of um, any kind of local space that would be suitable for your wedding. Okay, so my last suggestion is looking at bars, pubs or restaurants. If you're getting married in a city or a large town, then it's worth considering these places because some or a lot of them actually offer private rooms that you can hire out for a private party or there are also some bars um, and restaurants that would hire out the entire place for you for your wedding. So worth considering if you are looking to get married in a city. Okay, everyone, that's it. Thank you very much. I hope that's been useful. As I said, please comment down below if you have any other ideas for wedding budget related videos that I can make for you. As always, please like and share this video with any friends or family who might be thinking of getting married. Thank you and see you again soon. Bye.